when they review the AI and human doctor having different decisions, it is found that the AI has made the right decision, 36.1% of cases. And it finds that the AI and the human make the same um, or just as good decisions 55% of the time. And the human is better than the AI 9% of the time. So that discrepancy between the humans and the doctors, that's actually caused by the AI having better judgment than the human. This is game over for, let's say, pharmacists. Pharmacists, especially in the UK, will often do the repeat prescriptions. They no longer are needed to do this because this is a better system, better than humans at working out the correct repeat prescription. I would not be surprised to see a couple of years from now, OpenAI and ChatGPT Health involved in prescriptions. That would be a very weird world, but it makes sense if ChatGPT has this unified history of all your health. So it's not your health records fragmented over different doctors, over different clinics, over different companies, but instead in one place, they have the most complete image of your health. They are in the best position to feed that into an AI to help you with prescriptions, treatment plans, insurance, etc. This is a big play. A lot of people are just seeing this as a, oh, this is just like Apple Health is a cool thing. No, this is a data play. This is about getting the most valuable data you can get, which is private medical data, into a system to lock people into ChatGBT and building off that platform by looking at prescriptions, treatment plans, insurance, etc. High risk, but extremely high reward if OpenAI can pull it off. Not as exciting as image or video generation models, but more important than the cool stuff we see online.